What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to the walkthrough. Uh, as a reminder, we are going to be starting from the Outlook Tower. Uh, in addition, you should have enough to get a weapon up to plus six by now. And then, as always, make sure you are nice and leveled up. I'm up to level 43. But anyway, continuing on, uh, the very first thing we're going to do, and you'll only have this if you have the Gustav quest Working active. Working too hard isn't a good idea, you know. Hey, that's... Pick up the damage report. And then we're going to go this way. Down to the bottom. And we're going to be taking a left. Moving out. Ah, I appreciate it. If you can't beat him, you give no him a slip. No harm. Prepare. As you can see, this guy's pretty tanky. But, uh... Kill him, and we get another regen activation factor. Alright, so we're gonna continue onward, and have a gold knight up ahead that we gotta fight. Then a mark the of honor yours. hiding behind the boxes. Yeah. That's a real gem. A mark of honors you can typically get from doing co-op with players, but there are a couple you can find throughout the game. Another Goldie upstairs. path around looks like we still got a long way to hike Should be two lost up ahead and then uh, when the path diverges we will make a left to grab some steel hold on I'm on my way to the right follow the path and then we're going to take a right to drop down in a second here this way and drop down grab the chem light way and drop down again follow around this way anti-inhibit as well as a rotten missile Second, um, first we will hit this guy up. Just opens up that door for us. So carefully drop down. Great job finding this path. And this is going to lower a ladder that we need for progression. Did that just move a ladder? And this will open this door here. 
Alright, so continuing on, we are going to take a left and then go straight. And just drop all down. Got the mobility enhancer. And get another rock missile. Let's take this up. Notes down a little bit here. All right. Yes. And then I'm um, to the room. This is the ladder for progression, but we're not going to be taking that just yet. A couple other things that we're going to do first. Go up top and grab the drain activator that's waiting for us. Shit. Don't slipped off. I'll let Yakumo take care of that guy. Not worth my time. You pick up something we can use? Drop anything, okay. Um, alright, so we're gonna go towards the right and kill this thing. We'll get more queen steel. Swing right, kill Goldie, and we're going to go up the stairs first. And we're going to go to the right. Steal. Follow this path and stay to the right for more Queen Steel. Don't run too Just far leads ahead. us back to that ladder. This way, and that brings us back on over to here. Um, let's see. Stairs is uh, for to the right. Queen steel, follow the other path through the river. Queen steel up the stairs for shortcut and more queen steel. We already did this. Oh no! Waiting yeah. through here. This is the one we got open. So we open this, and there should be more queen steel behind this door. Queen steel all over the place. I think we already picked up the queen steel that was over here. This is just the uh, the base shortcut. There's for shortcut. Oh no! Nope. I really, there really right don't there. want to fall here. All right. So now we are going to go back, and we're going to take the drop down for the ladder. Uh, the alternative path that we could have popped out of, just to kind of give you an idea Sorry. of that. Moving it's just out. right there. It's that little side path. That doesn't doesn't in particular really go anywhere, it just you know, leads us back to stuff. So anyway, drop down here. And we're going to take the ladder up. And run over this way. Keep your eyes open on the way down. Let's rest and up. we are now at the gated room. Ways to go. Now, these golden doors get opened up a little bit later into the story. Uh, there's two of them here in the cathedral area. So, just remember where we are at. Gated room. And you can even see the, the door in the actual, like, screenshot of this, but just keep that in mind. Um, so we're gonna head forward, kill this Goldie, and then we're gonna drop down. Bring it any time. How's this? Resilient little bugger. And, um, let's see. This way. 
we are going to Don't run too far ahead. you around and around we have a couple different routes we can take here so first things first we're gonna go up grab the blood bee candy then we need to do drop up and drop and drop hold on i'm on my way now from here follow this around for another tower with a ladder so this is one of the areas that's that's a little bit trickier because there's a lot of different drop downs that you need to get And here's our ladder. Verify that. Hit the switch. And here's Looks that like fatty that we were looking time. at before. Kick ass. So just plunge it and right back there is where that original diverge was now kind of looking at the map um, you can kind of see that there we could have gone this way we're essentially just approaching this zone backwards and it'll make things a lot easier so fatty dead go on and that steal and now we're gonna go over here and hit this switch this switch just to loop around and show you you know nothing really here just if you come from this direction it just makes you fight all that stuff off oh, but anyway kill that through three hit the switch and we'll drop down again there is our missile in case y'all need it and this door is kind of useless but we'll talk about that in a second um Two, 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 two. All right, we so we're gonna go around. this way there's some monkeys that are ledge hanging if you are playing a caster you can uh, position yourself like that knock a couple of them off there's a vivifier over there that they're guarding so we are gonna pick that up And then we're going to drop to the left. Are you not? Oh, it's because it can't roll drop. There we go. Now you can actually drop down from over there and then come this way and then drop down, but there's some more stuff that you'd have to fight. Um, we're essentially just skipping right past that stuff to make Sorry. things even easier. Moving out. Follow this one over. Um, real fast, just to show. So, as you can kind of see here, you know, if you drop there, you get to that path. If you drop there, you get to that path. Um, if you drop at the end, you take the path we just dropped. Now, all of those will lead to this. And that will lead to a ladder. And that ladder will go up and lead you to that door that was just locked. But there's actually nothing there. Uh, it's, it's basically if you were to drop early, you know, it just gives you a way to get back to where you were. That's all it does. So let's go ahead and ah, appreciate it. kill this big gal. Pick that up. And if you look, you're right there. Here. Just walk off. 
This one took me a while to find originally. And so we will pick up our Nightthorn plus four. Right, let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Daddy drop down. Way back and upward. So yeah, we can just roll back and we're going to go right back to where we just fought that big gal at. Alright, now, if you just want to skip straight to progression, you drop down here at the right, but we're going to ignore that for just a second. We're going to open up a shortcut that'll be helpful in the event that you die. So if we pop this open... This is where we did our original drop down right over here. So the two monkeys spawned as well as the goldie. So if you die, you know, missiles over there, that way you can just run straight this way. Um, we're going to actually be coming into this room from behind, but we'll go ahead and pop it open just for the sake of having more connectivity. And drop this way. Round. Time to head on up. Two ladders and a MJ-212 waiting for us. down at this that's going to open up there. Ah, I appreciate it. Now we got two goldies to fight. So kill that one. Kick the ladder down. And this is the room that we opened the door to. So, see this way. And coming up next, we have a boss fight. Now, uh, this thing is called the Argent Berserker, and it's a, I'm using air quotes here, boss fight. But it's not really a boss fight. Uh, you can even just walk up and backstab this guy, so it's kind of easy. Um, but anyway, yeah, just, just go on in. You can basically just backstab and then spam attacks and this thing will die. It's, when I say backstab spam, I mean like quite literally. You can just abuse this thing. <laughs> That's me. Get off his transformation. It's it's hard to to look at something like this and be like, oh yeah, it's a boss. Launch attacks also work. So yeah, you just whoop this thing's ass. You get the Obliterator Axe, which is uh, actually a pretty decent uh, strength-based halberd. And this is our memory. Now, we're not going to touch this just yet. This is going to uh, essentially transport us back into a zone that's in the past. Before you touch that, just to save yourself a headache later, run on in here and grab this missile. Um, so, as I mentioned, that's going to take you into a new zone. Uh, the new zone is higher level than the cathedral. However, there is a cutscene at the end of that zone that you're going to want to see before you fight the final boss of this area. So you can really go um, so you don't regret it later. whenever you want. We are going to run through just to grab the warp, and then that way we can warp whenever we want. Uh, there's still a pretty lengthy chunk to this place left, so more than likely what we'll do is we'll um, we'll do the memories first, and then we will finish up Cathedral. So go on and get it just to just to to have it. Y'all get through your cutscenes, and you know, it goes back to essentially like you waking up and your revenant, you're fighting against the queen, blah blah blah, all the stuff back in the past. How's your little brother? Louis hasn't woken up yet. 
Yeah. There's nothing There's in the no central sign. area. New kid. You We're he over here and talk We're to good. this guy. Tell him you're ready to head out. A couple more cutscenes. Let's get to work. And then you can proceed forward. We're basically just going to get up to the very first missile of this area. There is this thing. Something useful? It's a cartridge, and then our missile should be right there. We have one more cutscene. Alright, and now you can see we have memories of whoever, it's whatever your character name was. Um, so yeah, we will, we're going to tackle this in the next part, and then we'll go back, even though this area is technically a little bit harder, I think it's it's manageable. One thing I do want to point out here is, as you can see, I now have Queen Slayer Claw. What's up? When you get warped you here, it's going to auto-change the veil that you have on, so you know, make sure to switch back to whatever veil you were focusing, because you know, that's, a, that's a pretty big stat difference between the two. Uh, but anyway, we're going to close on out here in the next episode. We will knock out the memory segment, and then following that, we will finish up the Cathedral of Blood all the way up to the boss. So stay tuned, and I will see you guys then.